What's up, Chosen Nation? I am back with another video. Let's give a round of applause to my sister, Keisha Evans. Keisha Grace Evans. I don't mean to put your whole government out there, but you blessed and you anointed. Let's give it up for my sister for this awesome back drop. Let's give it up for her real quick, all right? Shout out to you, Keisha. I'm going to put her on. Um, she got a YouTube channel too, y'all, uh, of her and her daughter, which is my lovely niece. Make sure y'all support, subscribe. Uh, to that channel, all right. So we're gonna get right into it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see the headline? Y'all see the title? A lot of y'all like, mm, girl, get your popcorn, yo. You got the KFC coming? You know what I'm saying? You got Chick Fil A, girl. Come on, yo. Get, give me that Polynesian sauce. It's about to go real. Did I quit wholesaling? Did I quit? I've been, I've been getting that question. I've been, I've been, I've been sitting on that for, 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 for some time. A lot of y'all been like, why should I drop no wholesaling tips anymore? First of all, I got like a whole bunch of wholesaling videos. So unless you saw every single one, don't be inboxing me talking about something. When you going to drop some more? Did you see every one first? All right, get up off me. But um, did I quit wholesaling? Okay, my answer to that is yes and no. Yes and no, right? Um. I'm leaning more towards the no because at the end of the day, in my opinion now, wholesaling is the foundation of real estate investing. That is that is the that's the foundation, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, um as I started to do wholesaling, and I thank God for wholesaling. You know, I always wanted like God, why'd you lead me to the to the wholesaling? And I and I and I now see why it's the foundation of it all, right? So there's three types of real estate investing. There's the wholesaling, the fix and flips, and the buy and holds. The big three. Little three, big three, however you want to call it, right? Those, those are my top three that I always talk about, whatever. That I've always come across in books and, and just talking to different cash buyers, whatever, right? Wholesaling, fix and flips, and buy and holds, right? Right now, I'm on, to me, the baby level, the wholesaling level, right? But as I begin to use my faith to close on deals, and I thank God, he's, he's the CEO of my life, of any company that I ever make, he's the CEO. I, I make sure I plug in with him, make sure, hey, am I going the right way? Am I doing this right? Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Like, I dare you to uh, unplug from the world for a second and plug into the source. Jesus Christ, just saying, all right? Um, uh, it wholesomely begin to feel like a job, right? So I already have a job. I make great income and I'm very blessed to have, um, you, you guys call it nine to five, even though my hours really aren't nine to five. I come in when I want, overtime and all that, but I get it, nine to five job, right? Um, it hopefully begins to feel like a job and I didn't want another job, right? I had to just, like sit back and be like, okay, what do I want? Like, I wanted to create generational wealth. I wanted one day for my assets to equate to a millionaire type status. So yes, one of my goals is to become a millionaire. Now a lot of you guys think like throwing money, you see these, when you think of millionaire status, we think of these rappers and the videos and just throwing up money with the Bentleys and the Lamborghinis. That's not really what I'm talking, I'm talking about um, my net worth to be worth a million. So they would just take my assets, subtract my liabilities and that would be my net worth. So if I have a bunch of rental properties that equate to a million and you know, like a million plus, then my then I'm essentially a, a millionaire. You don't have to see me in all these, you know, cars and all that for me. I don't have to have a million right here. Like I don't. That's not what I'm talking about, right? Okay. So um, I wanted to be able to. Um, the Bible says uh, a good man uh, passes on, you know, inheritance to the children children you know leaves an inheritance for the children i wanted to be somebody that passed on that inheritance i wanted to help my parents out. i wanted to be able to pay their mortgage off now while everyone's alive and breathing do it now and just you know help them out you know say help my immediate family out and generations to come after me i want to create generational wealth i don't want to just talk about it i want to be about it so i started thinking of ways like hold up now hold up wholesaling is becoming to be like like a job and out of all of the investing strategies that i just named the most hustler prone out of all of them is wholesaling like you have to hustle it's it's not easy i don't know who told i'm telling you wholesaling you gotta hustle you gotta work like it, 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 like I said, it starts to feel like a job. I didn't want to um, 
Now, if that's your dream to make wholesaling a business and make it a job because you love it so much, do you. That's not that's not me. I have a job, engineering, you know what I'm saying, um, and I use my income to um, and, um, uh, to invest in direct mail. Y'all know the whole story. Direct, uh, invest in direct mail to, to, to close on deals, all right? Um, right around the time that the whole COVID thing happened, I disconnected from that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I want something better. I want something, I want something more. I want to be able to do different strategies. I want to be able to fix and flip, you know, houses. I want to be able to mainly, you know what I'm saying, buy and hold, have passive income while I'm sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Someone is not only paying off my mortgage, but they're also um, putting money into my pocket. Rich Dad Poor Dad, come on y'all, that was a that was a mindset changer right there, like Rich Dad Poor Dad, I, I read that years ago. But it took a minute to click as I kept, you know what I'm saying, sometimes it takes a minute to click. And I think a lot of my people, including myself, we don't know what to do, we're fearful. You don't know about the real estate game, you know what I'm saying, like every rich person got one thing in common and that's, and that's, that's real estate. And in fact, there's real estate all around us, we are forever going to be in and around real estate. Why? Because we always need a place to live. You're doing real estate right now. I'm doing real estate right now. I'm renting. You're probably renting right now, or you're a landlord. You know, either you're on the, the, the side where you're receiving money, or you're on the side where they're taking your money. I'm on the side where they're taking my money right now, right? I'm in an apartment. I'm paying somebody else's, I don't know, their children's college tuition, or I'm supporting their dream. But what about my dream, right? What about your dream? What's your dream? What do you want? Do you want generational wealth? You know what I'm saying? All this time, we've been doing it the wrong way. We're over here buying liabilities. We're using our income. I say we get promoted. You know, say we thank God, flash our check. Oh, yeah, we got promoted. Oh, yeah, we got this much money. And we go and we start, you know, buying junk food or buying Jordans and, and shirts and hats, whatever. Trying, you know, or cars, even the greatest liability ever. You know what I'm saying? I'm being real with you and I got one. Um, whereas. The rich people, I don't want to just say white people, the rich people, okay, or the, the, the more wise, the, the wealthy people, what they do is if they want a car, you know what I'm saying, you might see somebody with a Lamborghini and be like, yo, how they afford, or if they want a Bentley or something, what they do is they go ahead, they don't buy that liability straight out, they don't, they go, grab their realtor or their broker, you know what I'm saying, come up with a plan, they go buy that asset, and then they go like they they get a property and then they use that asset that cash flow that's coming in to purchase that lease payment for their Bentley all right so I want to change you guys mindset to not think income to ball out income to buy that Hellcat charger income to to, to buy this Beamer or this Mercedes or whatever whatever you're drinking you know what I'm saying um using the income to to pay that pay down that vacation that you want or or even your mortgage why don't you have a purpose and what you want to do list list that bill that you want list that debt that you want right paid off go find a property that can give you that net cash flow to equate to that lease payment or your mortgage payment right and that way you don't have to use your income to support that you'll have that would just be that would be taken care of from that rental property. You know what I'm saying? And you keep on doing that and doing that and doing that until all your bills are covered. Think about that. So essentially, you, you'll be able to retire peacefully. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my goal, is to have every bill covered under a property, right? For example, I'm gonna break it down even more. For example, let's say like, okay, one of my, one of the one of the cars that I want, I ain't gonna lie, is a Hellcat Charger. I think they're pretty fun, you know what I'm saying? Always wanted a Hellcat Charger, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a big car person. We'll, we'll always will be, won't be ashamed. And that's fine if you're a car person, right? Um, it kind of sucks because they're expensive, but there's a way to do it, right? So if I go to the dealership and they say, hey, K, you know what I'm saying? Your credit score is good, whatever, da da da. You can, you can get the car right now. And I'm like, nah, I can't do that, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do it the right way. So they say, all right, just tell me, I'm, I'm, so I'm be like, so just, just, so I'm gonna say, just tell me how much the payment is. They'll say, all right, well, you're looking at 800 a month. 10,000 miles a year, about 800 a month. We'll just say, I don't really know. Um, but tall car guy got his car for seven, less than 700 a couple years back. So I'm just gonna say 800, you know what I'm saying, give or take. 
And I said, all right, bet. So then I go and try to find a property. It's all about the numbers though. I, I don't just go out and just buy a property. My goal is to go find a property that can net, not gross, net cash from coming into my pocket, right? Because don't look at the gross number because you gotta subtract what you owe the bank and the maintenance, whatever. You gotta like cut that in half for all these fees and expenses, right? Whatever. The net cash flow, that I need to look for a property that can net cash flow to me at least 800 bucks in my pocket. That way I'm not using my income like my nine to five job to pay down that, that, that liability, right? I'm essentially using my income to purchase an asset and that asset is gonna buy that liability. That's, that's what I'm, so that's, that's what I'm working on right now. Essentially, I, I'm trying to level up to that. I've been fearful. Uh, I've heard God tell me to invest uh, last year. I was in Orlando and I heard him say it. And I was like, I don't know how. I, I don't know how. So I, I kept, you know, I kept talking to him and kept thinking about it, kept searching for mentors and, and books and all that. And, um, and um, I never knew how to do it. So I'm learning how to do it now. So y'all already know I got y'all, right? So with wholesaling, I helped y'all out immensely. I have, a whole, I have a whole playlist called wholesaling, all right? I'm gonna keep on dropping dimes there. But the reason I've been so quiet, like I said, is because I'm trying to level up. Wholesaling became like a job. Um, and not to pay, not to, not to play like the fix and flippers, but that can be a job too if you're not careful, right? I feel like if I do a fix and flip, it's gonna be for a purpose. For example, let's say, um, I go to the bank and I say, hey, you know, I want to start a business. I need 100K. And they say, uh uh, we're not, it's COVID and whatever. Or we know that we, we, your, your credit score got to be a little bit more. Or we don't know you. They say no, right? I can be like, all right, the money's in the bricks. Let me go get me a property, right? So it's going to be a property. Um, fix it, flip it, and let that pay, that fund my business. I don't even have to use the bank. Because truth be told, I'd rather not use the bank. Maybe you don't want to either. So if you learn these different strategies, now you got your 100K, now you gotta pay Uncle Sam. I, I ain't gonna deceive y'all like a lot of people do. Like they, they talk about, oh, you can make 100K for a flip. Bruh, gross or net? Because <laughs> Uncle Sam coming at 15% easy. You know what I'm saying, 10%. Y'all, come on now. It, wait, wait, wait. Whatever you guys do, I'm telling you, like when it comes to these fix and flippers, just know the, the money they get is not all theirs. You gotta pay Uncle Sam. So it's, it, it's yeah, just, just so you guys know. Just saying, right? Okay, so um, after you end up paying Uncle Sam, they're cut, you know what I'm saying? Whatever that amount is, you could use for your startup business, you can use to, Maybe you had a big debt. Maybe your dream was to always just pay off your car. You've got 50 grand left, you just wanna pay it off. Do a fix and flip. Pay it off in one and you know, pay it off in one shot. You know what I'm saying? I think fix and flipping is a good strategy. If you need a lump sum of money, like I said, the money is in the bricks. Come on, Keisha, you, my sister already knew. No, she, she really didn't know, but God was with her when she chose this back jack. The money is in the bricks. Y'all see behind me, right? It's, the money's in the bricks, man. All right, it is. Meaning, the money is all around you. It's in the real estate. It's in the real estate. So it's your job to learn it and then go get it. All right. And as I learn it, I'm gonna teach you guys. All right. But if you if you if you don't know me, I hate to talk about things that I really don't know about. I want to go through it. I want to go through the process. I want to go through the pain. I want to go through the ups and downs. Fill my way forward. Fill my way to success, and then teach you guys. All right. So. Don't be discouraged, don't be deceived, don't be dismayed, don't be like, oh, she's not going to teach no more. She not, you know, a lot of you guys are asking me if, I, if I'm mentoring. I'm not mentoring anymore, uh, quite frankly. I just don't have the time. But that's why I created the YouTube channel, because I don't have time to sit. Like, I'm thinking like a million, now you got to understand, like, a millionaire's slash successful person's most valuable asset, in my opinion, but besides the brain, is, is, is their time. You think of if... <laughs> They're not gonna have time to answer like the whole world's questions, right? Cause they're trying to make money for themselves and for the family and all that. So I knew that time was just gonna be of the essence, so to speak. Um, so that's why I made this YouTube channel so I can always be in touch. 
you know what I'm saying, with, with everybody. If you have a question, drop it in the comment and I'll, and I'll try to answer it through a video. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's what I'm working on now. Like I said, if you're not careful, fixing flipping can be a job. If you're not careful, wholesaling can be a job. So don't be deceived or it, it, it can be, right? Because you might be asking me, like, what is my definition of a job? Let me tell you, to me, my opinion now, the definition of a job, J-O-B. Um, a lot of people feel like it stands for dress over broke. I mean, whatever. A job, whatever. I mean, I don't know about that, but... Uh, to me, to me, my, my job is in a way a blessing because it is it's, a, it's allowing me to use that income to purchase an asset. In my opinion, the definition of a job, right, is basically if if you stop going to that job, are you still going to get money from it? If I stop wholesaling, am I still going to get money? The answer is no. If I stop fixing flipping, like if I just stop, am I getting money from it? No. Okay. Whereas if you purchase a property and um, you place a tenant inside and all that stuff, and and not only are you going to have, if, I mean, if you do it right, I mean, so don't just go and buy a property, right? Have a purpose, have a plan. Everything is in the numbers. It's not going to be emotional. It's going to everything is going to be has to. The numbers have to line up. Men lie, women lie, people lie. But the numbers don't lie. The numbers have to make sense. And we'll get into that later. Um, because there's formulas and calculations. Like I said, if you're if you know about wholesaling, you already know the numbers. The ARV times the 0.7 minus repairs. Come on now. That's what you need. I'm telling you, it's all in the wholesaling. But if you stop going, if you stop fixing it, flipping, if you stop wholesaling, the income stops, y'all. That's a job. And if you love that, cool. Do what you love. If you like, well, that's my dream, that's what then do it. But let's not be deceived here, okay? A lot of people want to oh, quit your 9 to 5, quit, hold up. No, I'm not saying, no. For years, I wanted to quit my 9 to 5 because it was what everyone was doing. Out here doing it, quit the 9 to 5. You know, everybody, was, it, was, it was in style. You know what I'm saying? Um, I brought that information to my mother. I was like, hey, mom, you know, you know I'm, I'm about to quit my job. She said, no, you're not. I said, mom, why? My mom, my mom strongly discouraged me from quitting my job. I never understood why. The only thing she kept saying was, you want to eat? <laughs> and I was like, well, shoot, you know, I do like some fried chicken. Wings up, you know what I'm saying? I, may, maybe not. I kind of do want to eat, mama. You know what I'm saying? I thought, you know, but nah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never knew why she was saying it, but I thank God. Sometimes you got to have wise counsel in your circle. Take heed to the wise she knew why, I didn't know why, but I never knew like, cause everyone always preached about get rid of your 95 job, get rid of it, level up, da 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 da. And I'm like, you telling people to quit the 95 job, right? And you made it, cause you had people to look after you and to mentor you, and some people got little buddy systems. Come on now, don't get me started on that. They got people looking at, cause they take care of their own. I ain't gonna say no more, I know, come on now. Some people take care of their own, they, they good. Not everybody got that. Now everybody got that knowledge. How I'm gonna quit my job with no plan? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're telling me I can do this, but in reality, can I really be you? Or are you giving me just enough? Are you giving me just the breadcrumbs, AKA wholesaling, just, just be a wholesaler, just more to like than just, just being a wholesaler, okay? Let's, 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 let's get, let's get smarter and, 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 and dream bigger, right? There, there's more than wholesaling. There's more out there, guys, don't be, you know what I'm saying? I know they gave us wholesale. Oh, just, just give them that. No, there's more to it than that. All right? You can be a landlord. Be a lord over your land, so to speak. You can create that generational wealth and pass on a property to your children. Have a property for your children's tuition. If you got two kids, property for kid number one, property for kid number two. If you want to go on vacation, get you a property. You, are you tired of paying off your mortgage? Get you a property. Are you, do you want your um? Do you want to buy a new car? You see yourself in a BMW 7 Series? Get you a property. You know what I'm saying? I used to hear a bunch of gurus talk about this real estate. I mean, come on, guys. We, I'm all listening to podcasts and all that, and I hear people talk about. I, I can't say this is my first time hearing about the Burr method and you know buy, rent, whatever, repeat, refinance, all that stuff, right? Um. And I heard it, but no one really 
ever gave like like a step to step. One thing that I'm good with, I don't know if it's a gift from God, but it's like I'm good with vibes. I know I can see a con artist from a mile away. I can I can smell them. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm in touch with the Most High, so I already, you know my vibes is on point. The spirit, man, is I can see. You know what I'm saying? I can, this, this is this is just me. It's a soul inside. It's a spiritual. Come on, y'all. You know, I can see. I can. You know what I'm saying? I, I say, God, is, is he legit? You, all right, no, okay. You can, I, sometimes you don't even, it, you can just get this. Sometimes you get this. I'm telling you, man, I feel like God is always talking to everybody. You ever had this gut feeling like something don't seem right with this cat? Like he's, he's, a, he's you know what I'm saying? He's flashy. He's, he's saying, you know, buy his course for cheap, but something don't seem right. And if your inner man is, or your spirit man is saying something ain't right, m m most likely something's not right. You know what I'm saying? So, you gotta make sure you find the right mentor because there are a lot of scam artists out here or there are people who will give you just enough to to buy their course but they won't give you the the full blue blueprint or the full secret is it right no but that's why you gotta know stuff for yourself i, I remember me seeing um recently last week i saw these wholesalers get up and try to teach wholesaling to people right and i looked at it and you gotta understand like I was loving it because I'm like, I know the game of wholesaling. So I wanna see what it feels like to know what they're talking about and know that they're keeping information if they are. So I watched it, right? And they're talking about wholesaling. Okay, that's right, that's right. Huh, why would they leave out this? Why wouldn't they tell people that, you know, you need money to fund it? Like, it's not just free. Like, it, certain things they just left out, right? Like, why don't you deep dive and tell them how much it costs for direct mail? How much it's going to cost them to probably land a deal that you probably going to need to spend at least $3,000 a month? Or how much it's going to cost them band and size, the different price points, or just, that, that's just one thing. But certain things they left out, I'm like, yeah, they left that out. But if you're new to it and you don't know, it's like, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, knowledge is power. Uh, knowledge with, with action is like superpowers. But... Just having that knowledge, keep learning, get a book. I know black people, that's the 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 statistic is, you know, black people don't like to read. You know, I was like, I don't want to read, you know what I'm saying? But we got to stop that. We got to just read. Some of these secrets are in the, these books, guys. You know what I'm saying? Pick up a book, start reading. Have a goal for yourself. Just, you know, try. Read a chapter a day. You know, I'm not saying you got to read a whole Harry Potter type book. No offense to Harry Potter now. Don't write me no letters. Um... <laughs> I'm not saying you gotta read a whole Harry Potter type book, you know what I'm saying? But get you put down the the rap music. I ain't doing nothing for you. But unplug from the world for a second. Like that 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 the Instagram and social media. What side do you want to be on? Do you want to be on the side of where you're just dreaming through somebody? I wish I had that body. Oh, I wish I had that car. Oh, I wish I had that house. And they probably rented it. Oh, I wish I had this and look at all that money they flashing and flash. Man, put that down. You know what? The real I thought the the stunt. And I don't know. And I'm I'm not to listen. If if you white on my channel and you listening cool, but I'm just I'm just being real. Like black people as a whole, like <laughs> I don't know if it's because of slavery or if it's because we ain't we ain't never had nothing before or we ain't never used to. I don't know what it is, but we are notorious for just like buying liability after liability and just stunning on people who have less than us, which is weird, right? That's not that don't make no sense. We're stunning on people who don't even have it. It doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? It's like we got to stop that. Like I feel like the real stunt is leaving something behind for your children the real stunt is building generational wealth that's the real stunt so meanwhile you you playing basketball and you hooping and you cursing out billy and you playing billy because he got the sketchers on but you don't know that billy could teach you a thing or two that billy might wear sketchers and he might drive a hoopty but billy billy got like he's like a millionaire he got like he's worth his net worth is 10 million bucks he got a bunch of properties in Chicago. He got a bunch of properties in Orlando. He got a bunch of properties in Arizona. He killing the game. And, and Billy can teach you a thing or two. But you think Billy whack, right? But Billy really stunting on you. <laughs> Billy really stunting on you. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I chose Billy. If your name is Billy, I, I then, you know, I love you. I don't, know, I don't know why I chose Billy. Cause usually I choose Johnny, but not today, I guess. I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? Like guys, we gotta we gotta come up as a people, we gotta come up and we gotta help each other, we gotta build each other up. There is enough out here for everybody. There is enough for everybody to eat. The money is in the bricks, y'all. You know what I'm saying? The money's in the bricks, man. Let's let's I wanna see you win. You should wanna see me win. You should wanna see each other win. Let's everyone who just let's just get around like-minded people and just build each other up. There's no competition. Collaboration, man. No competition, no hate. I don't care what race you are, what color. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Let's get together. Like-minded people. And let's help each other win. All right? I want to see you win. I want to see my family win. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, whatever I learn, I am definitely going to share on this channel. But I am not going to speak on something that I don't know about or know that, you know what I'm saying? I want to go through the, you know, optical course and learn and maybe I might have to get burned for y'all's sake. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not scared. I, I, as you get older, you realize, man, like, you got one life to live. You know what I'm saying? You got one life to live. What's your dream? If you have no problem doing a nine to five for the rest of your life, maybe you want to play it safe and just you know, just invest your money into the stocks and all that. And I, I think stocks, stocks are cool too, long term, you know what I'm saying? But um, I think real estate is is good too, you know what I'm saying? I think, I mean, like I said, everybody has this in common. At Warren Buffett, Dave Ramsey, Block TV, uh, you know, hip hop artists and stuff. They all have this thing in common, y'all. They own something. It's time for us to own something. It's time for me to own something. So that's the way that I'm on. Now, with the whole COVID thing going on, okay, right now, the um, the interest rates are like at an all-time low. Last time I checked, it was 2.75% in certain states or whatever, I don't know, but it's pretty low, so people are buying like crazy. I mean, I'm talking the ARV is out the roof. People are buying like crazy. So... I think for this season, I think the best route right now is, right. in my opinion, this season is a fix and flip season, right? Because if people are buying properties like crazy, you're going to get that money back if you fix and flip. So this right here is the perfect time to fix and flip if you know how to do it, okay? Um, but if, I'm not going to say when, because I don't, I'm just going to say if, just to be safe, because I mean, when you said uh, if, the market crashes, okay? Um, be ready. I know I'm gonna be ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I, I feel like, just like the last crash that happened that I missed out on, that I wasn't even near close to even, I don't think I was really in tune. I probably was, was I even making money? I don't even know, 2008 probably, well, I don't know. No, I was in high school, wasn't I? Anyway, um, I missed out on that one, but just like the stock markets, right? You want to buy when it's low. So when the crash comes, be ready, man. Have a bunch of capital saved up so you can buy these properties um, for close to cheap. I'm talking like pennies on a stick. I don't know where I got that analogy from, but that's just what I just be you Pennies on a stick. I'm talking like heavy discounts. You know what I'm saying? So keep using your income. If you are making income right now, if you're an essential worker, keep using your income to just keep on saving and saving and saving because I guarantee you when the crash comes and I think it's coming I think I think it is coming like I said I'm not a I don't know what like really I'm not God I don't know when but just be ready for that but if you are good at fixing and flipping this is the season right now I feel like right right here everyone's buying houses I'm talking about like at the top ARV and I think it's because the interest rates are so low the people are just taking advantage right now so if you know how to do that do that that's cool um, but make sure you have your team, right? Make sure you got the attorney and do it the right way. You have a team, an attorney, an accountant for your tax purposes and all that. Um, you've got a project manager, a contract, all that. Your whole, your whole team. Make sure you do it right. Make sure you know what you're doing, right? Um, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to do this video real quick. Let you guys know where my headspace is. Um, right now, 
I'm not, I'm not wholesaling, like, I'm not spending my money. My hard earned money on wholesaling right now. So in the essence, I did stop, but at the same time, I'm planning on leveling up, meaning I'm, I'm planning on purchasing a property. That's my plan, a few properties at that. I'm just waiting, like double dutch. God, tell me when. Not yet, keep saving, okay? All right, tell me when, tell me when. And I'm just making up a plan. I'm, I'm about to, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm trying to, um, I'm continuing, even though my credit score is good, right? I don't, I don't ever stop building my credit score and keep on working out, keep on working at my credit score. Every year, I print out um, my credit report. There's a site. I'm gonna try to put it below if I remember, right? There's a site that you can pull your full credit report every year for free. I think it's creditannualreport.com or something like that. Pull it, dispute the charges that you need to that's wrong, and continue to build your credit score. Keep that credit card at a 30% maximum from what the credit li uh, limit is, or you'll see your credit score go down. Um, just do little things, right? Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna continue to build my credit score and um, also look into getting an LLC uh, for when I buy these properties. Cause I don't believe we should be buying these properties in our name. I think we should be doing it to protect ourselves, right? Liabilities and all that um, under an LLC. So I'm gonna be coming up with a plan, figuring out, you know, what type of cash flow I want to see in my property. Do I want to go for the gusto right away? Do I want to put it in increments? You know, that's all in the works right now. So that's what I'm working on. All right, so bear with me. Um, but I'm still going to be dropping videos, okay? If I if I learn a thing or two from wholesaling, and I, I still am from other people, uh, somebody showed me some trick about wholesaling the other day, and I'm like, oh, I never did that, but that's a good, that's a good idea. I'm gonna share that information. All right, you guys just, you know, look out, look out for that, um, for, for videos in the future on that. Different wholesaling tips and everything. Um, different real estate investing tips, but if you have been following me via wholesaling, all right, start calling yourself a cash buyer slash um, real estate investor. You are a real estate investor, all right? I kind of want you to stop calling yourself a wholesaler. Even if you use that method, I think wholesaling is a strategy, don't get me wrong. It's a great, and if, and if you don't know anything about real estate investing, start at wholesaling. Just please do. You'll learn so much. I learned so much through wholesaling. You know, there's just like there's levels to our faith, right? There's levels to this real estate investing. I feel like everyone should start with wholesaling. I tried starting up like here and I, I got so confused. God had to gear me to the right. No, start here. This is the foundation. This will help you level up. You know what I'm saying? So if you haven't started any type of investing, I strongly encourage you to start wholesaling um, and start learning about it and really get into it and try to close a few deals um, and get to understand, pick the brains of these cash buyers and then start leveling up. You know what I'm saying? If you have a low credit score. If you're in debt right now, work on your debt through Dave Ramsey. Okay, he he got me out of debt and um, um, start with wholesaling because you don't need any any big capital. You need some capital, right, to market. You do need some people who say you don't need. I don't know what you're talking about, but you need it's 38 cents per postcard for direct mail. It's about 18 cents. You know, you can find some for cheaper, but you gotta make sure the quality is good. It's probably 18 cents for um for uh cold calling per lead. And not every lead is good. So sometimes it's 18 cents wasted. Um uh bandit signs, it's a good 300 a month maybe. Um uh but yeah, or you can do door knocking if you want to walk and sweat. I don't know, you know. But uh, you definitely want to need, I mean, it's little capital, but it is some capital that you're going to have to spend to wholesale. And it, and it does take a, a lot of your time, um, at least 20 hours per week. So, uh, but it's possible, you know what I'm saying? But it takes work because it, it, this goes hand in hand, right? But definitely get your mind around wholesaling. Understand the formulas, guys. All right, don't forget that formula. Now, that ARV times the 0.7. Minus the repairs. Don't 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 forget that formula. Um, 
But yeah, I'm on that right now. I'm on that wave right now. So uh, that's really it. You know, if you have any questions, let me know. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, y'all. I love y'all. Man, this backdrop, back, I can't even speak. This backdrop looks sick. Keisha, you did perfect, y'all. My little sister right there, you did perfect. The money is in the bricks, boy. The money is in the bricks. You can do all things through Christ, which strengthens you. Always walk by faith. Don't forget that, all right? Always walk by faith. I love y'all. All right, stay blessed. Chosen Nation, I'm out. I wrote the vision, made it plain, now I'm running to it I wrote the vision, made it plain, now I'm running to it And with the Lord on my side, I know I can do it I can do all things through Christ, so I'm never losing Man, I do it for my city, man, I do it for the poor I'ma build trade schools for all the boys and girls Cause they need jobs too Burger King doesn't cut it when you got rent due And trying to ball out on a budget And I know people get big and they never look back But I'm not other people, I do not follow the path Count it up, do the math, I'm on a billionaire's path God gives me new ideas in my dreams, that's cash I invest in these shelters where the homeless live Wise enough to know that God blesses me to give That's why I rap the way I do, to represent Christ If God can save my soul, then I can save a life Wings of an eagle, we were meant to fly We gotta love on each other, remove all the strife I was born